Great, so we're going to change pace a little bit because we're not just going to talk about social networking and tech. We're going to talk a little bit about clean tech. And Rebecca, Europe, that's an area you focused on. We've actually uh, had experience in that area too. So what, what are the big trends you're seeing in that? And uh, how do you look at you know, clean tech versus ICT, which is on, on the board here? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's part of the T, but it's, it's slightly different. Uh, it's, it's both high tech, right? Um, and we see that um, in, in China, the TMT um, investment um, in China and in the U.S. are quite similar. People are looking for edge in technology um, for their application for like consumer um, um, application like that. But uh, for clean tech investment, it's quite different in China versus in the U.S. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., we still uh, focus on those edge in technology as we do in the past 10 years. As DFJ started uh, clean tech investment since 10 years ago, right. we have already backed um, nearly eight 80 um, companies, clean tech companies in the U.S. covering renewable energy, uh, energy storage, um, transmission, mm -hmm. efficiency, uh, environment p protection. And we started uh, clean tech investment in China since three years ago, and we have already made 10 uh, investment here. But we feel that uh, clean tech investment here is quite different from in the U.S. because we are looking for more uh, later stage or growth stage uh, companies because the mass production, the management, and the, 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 the customer are quite different mm -hmm. um, here in, the, in China. And also the, the market is quite different because we see that in China the clean tech um, market is mostly driven by government subsidies or policy support or financial support. So we should be very careful to think about whether um, there is a, what's a real driver for this market? Is it only driven by the government support or can it, it can be um, turned into commercial? So, and who are the real customer here? So we'll be, we should be very careful about those. Does that, does, does that make you more positive though on the sector that given the importance of government in stimulating uh, through policies and through purchases. Mm -hmm. China is obviously more joined up in terms of, uh, well, there are differences between provincial governments and central, but once there's a, a mandate, you know, China can move very quickly, as we saw in the response to the global financial crisis and other things, and infrastructure. Does that make you more bullish on, on the sector here than the U.S. in that sense? Because the U.S. obviously both fiscally is challenged, but also a lot of differences uh, in, in approach between states and, uh, and the federal government. Mm -hmm. is, is that something that comes into your equation? Or? Uh, uh, we, we are well, we're equally positive okay. in the U.S. For and different in a, reason. yeah, okay, for right. different reasons. For example, for smart grid investment, you right. see the smart grid investment opportunity is quite different in the U.S. than yeah. in the in China. Mm -hmm. In China, it's mostly in the transmission and distribution side, but in the U.S., it's on the the, the demand side. So, right. so we see different opportunities here, but equal um, positive. Okay, mm -hmm. and that was the theme that came out of uh, Hans' uh, presentation here, and also when we were at Stanford talking about. Uh, in that case, we're talking about the auto rental sector. The big mistake is to take the, kind of the U.S. Uh, vision yes. uh, and apply it here. So the ability to differentiate is, is yes, key. Yes, right, yeah. right. So. And uh, also, there's another opportunity we, we see here in China, but we, we didn't see in the U.S. Mm -hmm. is the advanced manufacturing. Right. It's kind of an extension of clean tech, but you see that um, China is one of the largest uh, um, manufacturing economy in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see there's huge opportunity for the manufacturing, for example, for the automation, for the manufacturing process, um, improvement. So this is one of also one of our focus here in China. And that allows you to tap, I guess, into, into global demand because a lot of that stuff can be exported as we saw with wind turbines and other things, solar, a lot of the demand is initially in, in Europe or other places, right? So it's not just a China play then, it happens to be in China, right? Yeah, yes, right. Okay. And in terms of fundraising for clean tech, what are you seeing uh, from, from, from the market? Is, is there more hesitancy? I mean, everything, everybody's talking about social networking now. We've seen, you know, for example, I was talking to a friend who's more involved in the medical devices side, but he's saying, you know, everybody just focuses right now on social networking. So do we see a draining effect of capital out of other areas, or do you still see a tremendous resilience in, uh, in, uh, in your area? Do you still see interest in, in, in your area by the funds, or are you seeing that concentration on social networking, uh, diverting people from your sector? 
Yeah, the, the social networking is very hot right now. Um, but we still see there are a lot of funds focusing on uh, mm -hmm. clean time manufacturing, especially those R&B funds. Okay. And those funds, they have very local presence. So they, are very, they, and they also have very quick, quick um, uh, decision-making process. And really? Yeah, yes, right. Okay. Um, because they, uh, they have very local presence. They know those companies before we, we get contact with those companies, right. and right. they know their local environment. And so they have still very, very, uh, a lot of focus on those industry. Another reason is that those R&B funds, they cannot bear such high valuation for those kind of um, TMT sectors. Right. So we still face uh, very fierce competition from those R&B funds. Well, um, the global funds advantage lies into our uh, understanding of the industry, mm -hmm. our um, foresee of those big trends, mm -hmm. our, um, our portfolio network that can bring to the company for their BD uh, development. So we, 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 we also see those companies, some, some, sometimes we meet some uh, investor competitors, but those uh, companies do choose DFJ because we can, because of the value we can bring into right. the company, not just the valuation. Mm -hmm. So that's what our next step is, just combine those, uh, the, the advantage of local uh, presence and our global uh, network. So you said the decisions are very quick um, by the R&B funds, typically because they're investing locally, right? Mm -hmm. So yes, right. do you see a trend of some of the, uh, the GPs actually beginning to look more nationally, or is it really a local bias based on who their LPs are? And I mean, the, the, it's a lot of government involvement, right? So governments tend to invest in the, themselves or in their own yeah. jurisdictions. Do you see more of a best in class that look across the country to find the best things, or is it still? Uh, actually, we have uh, worked uh, together with local government to set up a, a local R&B fund. Mm -hmm. And they That's are very- with, uh, which, which government? Uh, uh, in Changzhou. Changzhou. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they are very open-minded. Okay. They look at uh, the opportunity of a nationwide. Okay. So. so the maturity, we just, Hans was talking about the maturity of yeah. entrepreneurs. Now you're seeing that now coming yeah, through in the R&B funds. We okay. see that. And uh, so the, to some extent, the good news for you is the, the crazy valuations in, in social networking actually help to some extent focus on, on your sector of people who are scared by those prices, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, um, so yeah, what other... Um, you know, in the next year or two, what, what are the sort of new areas within your uh, sector that you see emerging in terms of uh, hot areas uh, beyond uh, EV and other things we talked about? But, uh, uh, EV stew is one of our uh, focus because uh, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the China government started um, to talk about the opportunity EV two years ago, mm -hmm. but now we see the market really started to, to ramp up mm -hmm. because of that um, the technology is more mature and the infrastructure is there mm -hmm. and also the government still put a lot of support for financially policies uh, level for, for this uh, sector. But it's not just for those OEM uh, for EV, but we're also looking to some key uh, equipments and mm -hmm. key components in this uh, in this sector. So we're still th this is still a, a, a key investment uh, focus for us. We also look for some um, uh, for renewable energy. Mm -hmm. It's not just a, a solar. We will uh, look into the whole uh, value chain of the of the solar and wind wind sector, and also uh, environmental protection. This is also one of our focus for the next few years. Mm -hmm. yeah. So which areas into environmental protection? Uh, water treatment, waste treatment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's become a, a, a very serious issue yes. for this country. Yeah. yeah, I mean, water right now is the worst drought in 50 yes. years, yes. and so any any uh, supplies are. Uh, especially for industrial water treatment. Right. Yeah. Right, which is a, the biggest waste yeah. of yeah. And are you seeing any trends for some of your portfolio companies in in the U.S. and in China to? So do stuff together, or are you saying very, very? Yeah, yeah. We we help our portfolio to work together, okay. and it is, so we we bring those uh, uh, U.S. company to open the China market, mm -hmm. and we also help those our, our China uh, companies to go to the the the, the global market. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's what we do, and we also uh, work, help them to bring the the talents in, into China market to help them to 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 improve their their management. But yes, I mean, you were quite early into the sector investing in the U.S., but we're definitely seeing now the, you know, uh, this is a wave which is not confined to Silicon Valley in, in, into clean tech. And even now, it, as we can see into some of the social networking, it's, it's much more of a global phenomenon, whereas previously you had waves and really just within the valley of mm -hmm. semiconductors and software and the 1.0. So it is interesting to see. Um, and how do you, um, uh, your investment committees obviously are structured 
uh, separately on? Or do, how, do, how close did you uh, Yeah, we, we, we have very close communication with our U.S. colleagues. Right. And, and, and we share our knowledge here in China, and they share uh, their knowledge for the aging technology mm -hmm. in the U.S. So it's a very great combination. Um, yeah, of the two sides. Okay, so really, I want to keep aware, okay. But, um, and, and in terms of the quality of entrepreneurs, Hans just mentioned, you know, now we have, if you will, the second generation, you know, how, how many people had previously worked at, at Baidu or Yahoo, et cetera, and Taobao. What are you seeing in, in, in clean tech and stuff? I mean, because it's earlier to some extent, so. Uh, no, the, 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 there is a huge opportunity um, at this point, and we, we call it like um, import replacement. Because okay. we know that for many um, core components, uh, it's dominated by foreign players. Right. And we see that uh, some of the China uh, talents they have who has uh, sufficient MNC experience, they started to come out and founded their, their companies. Okay. And those companies, because of their better local service, their better understanding of the customers, they are taking more market share from those uh, foreign companies. Okay. So that's also a big opportunity here okay. for investment. Yeah. Which reflects very much what we, I mean, you experience with you know, Baidu versus Google. Or other things, right? <laughs> right, so right. That would be true to form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, great. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for your time and um, appreciate uh, you coming in and switching with Hans. So thank you very okay. much. Thank okay. you. Thanks, thank Rebecca. You,